Kratos the Godfather. Huh? By Sensei. That's what we're about to watch. I'm pretty sure Kratos is from God of War. I have not watched anything or played anything related to God of War. Bro, you're trash, bro. Besides, like, Berlizzi. War is inevitable. War never changes. No, this isn't Fallout, but the main character of this tale created Fallout. A man okay. who's dedicated to vengeance, dedicated okay. to destroying those who destroyed him. Those who destroyed this nigga's skin because that nigga looks like Zordon from Power Rangers. The putty patroller himself. Someone strong enough and with enough will to destroy gods themselves. Mm. Someone who will fight not only- Can it be Goku though? <laughs> Like, is he, be, is he even beating Yamcha? I need to know these things. God. Make you like the video right now because I know you're going to enjoy it. Like it right now. Please and thank you. But we'll literally inhale any amount of smoke available. So strap in, get your snacks, and get ready <laughs> because today we are Damn, watching. Damn, it's... Hold up. His, 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 his body's picture perfect. Oh my god, you could grind meat on it. The fader of gods. This is going to be a long one. I have notes here for every game from Ascension to God of War 3. And I know, hold on, relax. Uh -huh. I know y'all like, Sin, Sin, what about God of War 4? What about God of War 4? Relax. Because I'm going to talk about Kratos and the boy. As long as y'all get this video to 100,000 views and 8,000 likes. Oh, let's see Let's see if he got it. Okay, yeah, he de oh, yeah, he definitely got those light goals smashed. Oh, yeah, they, they fucked the shit out of those light goals. God dang. So we start off with this little nigga Kratos and his brother Deimos. Now, Kratos... Uh -huh. is a Spartan. I know y'all remember the Spartans, you feel me? 300 and all that. We are Sparta. You remember? Remember he kicked the dude out <laughs> and all that? Nah, I, I think it's funny the fact that his, his him saying the quote was off. Like he was wrong with the quote and it was off. Saying so spears and all that. You know what I'm saying? So Kratos, he was a Spartan. Him and his brother are yeah. always fighting each other. They dueling. Kratos is trying to get his brother right. It's like when you got a little brother, he kind of soft. So you beat him up. I know that's kind of abuse and all that. Yeah, nah, that, that's right. abuse. They might not like you that much. No, nah, that's straight up abuse. You can't, you, you don't do that in 2022. No, 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 no. <laughs> Maybe, yeah, in the Spartan times, yeah, you, you can, you can, like, you definitely pucking them up a little bit. Oh, not even a little bit. In Spartan times, they probably, they probably pissing your, piss on your ass. Huh? Literally, they're probably beating you with spears. <laughs> Get the side of a spear and beating your ass. But hit your child in 2022? Absolutely not. Brother, but it's kind of messed up because there was this prophecy, basically, that said the marked one would destroy Olympus. Now, this man, Deimos, had a birthmark. And uh -huh. Kratos kind of copied his birthmark and got tattoos to match. So at some point in the story, we find out that this nigga Ares came down to get the marked one. Deimos. Ares? Hold up. Hold up. <laughs> My birth month pulling up the squad. Hold up. Hold up. My, 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 my uh, whatchamacallit, astrology sign pulling up. There we go. Okay. What, what Aries got going on? Now, I ain't gonna lie to When the prophecy said the marked one, I instantly thought of the West Coast. Because y'all know how West Coast niggas be like, hey, yo, you marked out. You marked out. I was like, it makes sense. Kratos was beating this nigga up. That nigga's a bitch. <laughs> I was wrong, though. It's literally because of a birthmark. I mean, it is neither near or there. We find out later, though, that he wasn't really the marked one. It was Kratos, but whatever. Yeah. Yeah. He steals Deimos away and Athena tells this nigga Kratos sorry for some reason. Now, I'm instantly confused because I'm like, why the fuck are you saying sorry to me? Yeah. You just stole my brother. Exactly. Brother, you just, just came in like CPS, like I'm a bad parent, took my brother from me after mm. the war just happened. Arrows hitting us and all that, there's blood all on us, and you steal my brother away? Now Kratos is yelling like, no, Deimos. Well, hold on, my bad. His voice wasn't that deep yet. He was like, <clears throat> no, Deimos. <laughs> <laughs> but they took this nigga Deimos away, and after that, Kratos was kind of like on a war path the rest of his life he was just slaughtering niggas to sparta he was an angry nigga bro basically this whole story could be wrapped up in angry man is so angry he doesn't want to die like that, that's basically Wait, what? <laughs> Anger man is so angry. Wait, what? What happens? But anyways, the killing spree, sorry, killing spree starts after this man, Kratos, slaughters tons of people for Sparta. But there's this one time that they're about to go against somebody that might be a little bit, tiny bit too strong for him. Okay. And this is the only time in the story that I was like... Not my nigga Kratos, bro, because my nigga Kratos starts sucking Ares' dick off immediately. Wait, wait, hold on. Wait, what? Like, like literally? Like, <laughs> like figuratively or literally? Like, I mean... Okay, so literally. Clearly is literally. Clearly. 
Clearly. Okay. 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 Gawk, Gawk 3000. Like, really slobbering. This nigga Aries talking about. Aries, if you save me and my people, I will be a slave to you. Like, bro, yelling up to the guys. I'm like, who are you yelling at, bro? The nigga Aries ain't gonna hear you. But I was wrong. Because right as he started slobbering this nigga Aries off, here he comes. Wait, so, 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 so he was getting his ass beat. So he started screaming for a god to come help him. <laughs> Weak ass nigga, bro. Goku would never. Shut up, bitch. The sky splits. You just see Ares fall down. And he's like, I give my body to you. And I'm like, pause, nigga. You on your knees talking about I give myself to you? In what way? What do you, you mean, mean by that? that? But that's neither near or there. You feel me? This man, Kratos, literally becomes Ares' minion at this point. Start mm. slaughtering countless people for this nigga Ares. And I'm like, okay. So you're Does this all take place on Earth? Because I feel like after a certain point, uh, at a certain point, you know, you run out of people to kill like if all these people are gods and and things of that nature i feel like you run out of people to murk like like you can't just keep killing people who aren't there like, I'm, I'm confused you're out here sucking god's dicks for power this is gonna bite you in the ass but there's this one part where he comes up to this temple and there's this old ass hag in front looking like the bitch from like <laughs> one punch man that gave the oh, prophecy shit. bitch out here looking like shorty on the uh the crystal ball from dragon ball shit oh <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Don't make fun of Master Roshi's sister like that. I forgot her name. Hey, and I'm gonna translate this to some hood shit for y'all. <laughs> she was like, nigga, don't go in there. I ain't gonna lie, bro. <laughs> That's not what you want. This nigga Kratos was like, what do you mean, old ass bitch? Pushed her out of the way. He's like, I'm going in here. This is my destiny. So this Ooh. man walking here on some, this is my destiny shit. Nigga acting like ass catch him. Like, like the catch them is my call. Like, bro, really walks in this motherfucker. I'm like, bro, I don't know what's in this temple, but you should have listened to this old bitch. The whole premise of the story happens after he goes in here because he slaughters all these people in here. <sighs> And then when he's done slaughtering them all, he so looks down. so it's Kratos' personality killing people. Is that like his only personality? Like, cause, cause I'll, that's all I'm really hearing right now. He don't have no hobbies. Does, does he draw? He's, is he an artist? Part time artist? Can, can he cook? I mean, he, he has the body of a of a god. And he killed his fucking wife and his daughter. This man Ares set this man up to kill his people. Basically, what? in Ares' mind, he was like, all right, if I have him slaughter his wife and daughter, there's nothing else that's gonna be in this man's way. I literally can just wait, hold on, hold on, wait, 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 wait. I, and I don't I don't know if I missed it or didn't hear. And he killed his fucking wife and his daughter. This man Ares set this man up to So he really don't have a personality besides killing people. Kratos uh, has no personality. He's just angry. Interesting. Kill his people. Basically, in Ares' mind, he was like, all right, if I have him slaughter his wife and daughter there's nothing else that's going to be in this man's way i literally can just have him do my bidding because now there's nothing to stop him of course kratos wasn't too happy about this and he said Ares, i will have vengeance for this i ain't gonna lie kratos voice but actor. he but he's the one who did it how is he mad at Ares when he's the one who, who said he would kill I'm confused. You set yourself up. You can't be mad at him. It goes crazy. Like, let's talk about that. But anyways, this is the craziest part of this moment, though, because the whole time I'm looking at this man Kratos and I'm like, bro, why isn't he pale yet? Like, he's gray as shit in the games. Like, why isn't he gray? And then I realized that they cursed him. That the reason this nigga is gray like this is that he has the ashes of his wife and his daughter on his body. They stained this nigga's body with their ashes. The whole time you play oh. the game and he out here looking like Zordon, looking like a putty ranger. Like, this man out here looking like dark side i mean that's karma yeah you killed your wife and kid for for a god for for aries matter of fact not just any god aries like bro you deserve it if anything why, why didn't you kill yourself like Don't the matter. reason why he's gray like this is because he has his wife and his daughter's ashes painted on his body like a silhouette you know that figure of speech like i will bathe in the blood of my enemies no they bathe this nigga in the ashes of his, his family wife. like literally and so kids, at this point that's this nigga crazy. kratos is on the path of destruction he's like yo i am going to get vengeance for this bitch ass nigga aries like the fact that he did this and he didn't pay for his half of the bill when we went out to eat the other night i am going to punish this nigga aries god i wore my I'm about to switch Wait, it around. So why is he mad at Ares when he's the one who killed his wife and daughter? I'm confused. Why why is he mad at Ares? Like Ares made him do it? Like like he had no choice in the matter? I'm that, that confuses me. That was too far. All right, pulse. That was crazy. But anyways, at this point, we fast forward a little bit, and this man Kratos is having visions and shit. He don't know what the fuck is going on, bro. This man Ares has the Fury sisters impersonating this nigga's wife. This man Kratos fucking the shit out of the Furies, thinking that he's fucking his wife. It's not even his wife. This man is literally in La La Land. And this nigga's an idiot. Ares tricked him. He's an he didn't trick him. He Kratos is just an idiot. 
idiot. You can't trick an idiot. They're an idiot by default. Like, if anything, it's, it's, it's Kratos' fault. He's the one who called up to Ares. He was up there like, Ares, please help me. Please. It's not even his wife. This man is literally in La La Land in a fake world. Ares had this man in a fake world trying to keep him under control. I ain't gonna lie. The one fairy sister that was impersonating his wife was kind of bad. Like, I might have had the cracker too. You feel me? They call it a fairy sister, but they gonna call me the fairy brother the way I'm a ferociously fairy. Right, no, no, they're not gonna call you the fairy brother because that's incest. You wanna fuck your sister, Sensei? Anyways, whole time though, this is this whole fake shit. Now this man Kratos is on a path of, you know, revenge, but he also wants to get rid of these stupid ass visions too. So he's just doing stuff for the gods. He ends up smoking this basilisk and he ends up defeating some Persians. Now at this point, he's yelling up to the gods like, is this all you want from me? And boy, were we wrong, bro. Because as this man Kratos pulls up to the underworld Where a little bit later, he sees this nigga Persephone. Now Persephone is Hades' wife. Now, to be the wife of Hades, Hades. if y'all saw the way Hades looked in this game, you have to be down bad. Like, there's no way you swipe. That's what Hades looks like? I'm so ugly, man. Hold up. I need If y'all saw- His nipples are, are iron. What the f- how do you have sex with that? How do you sleep with that? How do you procreate? All the way Hades looked in this game, you have to be down bad. Like, there's no way you swipe right on Tinder on this nigga Hades, bro. Like, Hades was out here looking disgusting as fuck, bro. Bro look like a butcher in a fucking deli. Like, I'm not even playing with y'all. He look like he's straight out of Outlast to keep it a buck. It would look like Shao Kahn with the mask on, but obese. I know y'all wondering, well, how did Hades end up dying? How did he control the underworld? That nigga had a heart attack, too much fucking cholesterol in him. Fat bitch. This man literally out here looking like Pig God with a mask. Anyways, let me stop flaming this nigga, but he pulls up on Persephone, and I'm like, this this bitch is bad. How is she that down bad? This bitch is bad. Persephone tricks this nigga though. And she tells him like, look, you can see your daughter, but uh -huh. you gotta basically give up all of this stuff to this tree. So he sticks his blades into this tree, gives us some of his health. Why does he just listen to absolutely everyone and every everything they say? Does does he never pick up pick up a book and do his own research? Does he does he not conduct no research of his own? Does he just go out listen to everyone else and kill people? Is that is that all Kratos is? That's all it really sounds like. His magic, all that shit. He goes in to see his daughter. Now his daughter is really there, and she's like, "Daddy, never leave me again." Yo, never leave you, daughter. The whole time Persephone was tricking this nigga to stop him, so she can make sure that he wouldn't stop her. Cause see Persephone. Stephanie and Atlas had an idea to basically destroy the world. Now, Atlas is the titan that got tasked with holding up the entire world. Like, what okay. kind of shitty ass job is this? Like, bro, this nigga Atlas literally is holding up the entire world on his back. Yo, he put the team on his back, literally. Now, the way that Zeus did these titans, and we're going to talk about that at some point, but yo, he did these niggas dirty. To be fair, though, Kronos tried to do him dirty. You feel me? That, 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 that's Hold up, that's Kronos in comparison? Damn, that nigga huge. Zeus is dead. Yeah, by the way, Zeus is part Titan, part God. I don't, I don't know. It's it's confusing. But anyways, this is where we get some savage ass. He's LeBron with James, this man, Kratos. You're literally in a mini game where he has to decide if he's gonna leave his daughter behind to stop Persephone. And of course, you have no choice but to button mash circle to push your daughter off you. Like she's grabbing you, Daddy. Stop. She, she would she wouldn't be dead if you weren't a dumb bitch. <laughs> Keeping a buck. Let's let's keep it. Let's keep it a buck. Let's keep it a buck. If he wasn't a dumbass, he would she wouldn't be dead. Daddy, please. Push. Push. The last time you push her hard as shit, stiff arm the fuck out of her like you're defending on her O-line, bro. Boom! Push her off. I'm like, oh my god. He run up on Persephone, ends up going to Atlas, and he stops the whole shenanigan that he got going on, yo. I'm not gonna lie, bro. The funniest part, though, is how he talks to these bitches in this game. Because, bro, when he first pulled up on Persephone, uh -huh. he walked straight up to her, and he's like, where's Where my, daughter, my witch? daughter, witch? Bro, I ain't gonna lie. It reminded me of the scene in Scary Movie, bro, in the beginning, when Shorty and her friends were in high school, and the homeless guy is like yo can i have a dollar <laughs> and they're trying what to the diss hell? him and then shorty's like can't you just see he's hungry she gives the homeless dude a dollar they walk away he smacks her with a sandwich I she said says i said a dollar bitch, bitch. <laughs> 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 I ain't gonna lie, yo. I know that's, no, that's a savage ass old man bro looking just like my grandpa my grandpa would do the same thing the only difference was he would throw a sandwich at you and pee on you i beg your pardon and you know he has aids so he would give all that to you too he would find like a specific cut mark on your arm pee right on your shit and now you have aids man off topic yo but that's literally how we talk to Risa. Where's, Where's my daughter, my witch? Daughter, witch. <laughs> oh my God. But anyways, after this, this man Kratos is on a ship. He smokes a Hydra. And at this point, he's like, look, man, I just smoked this Hydra for y'all. What else do you want me to do? And Athena's <laughs> like, 
the last thing we need you to do to get okay. rid of these visions is to smoke Ares. Ares is tearing up Ooh. Athens right now. So Athena. I mean, that's what he. That's what he wants to do, though. He wants to tear. Uh, he wants to tear them up, right? Past Kratos, we're going to smoke in Ares. This is the first god that he smokes in the entire franchise. So he pulls up to Athens, and we see this giant ass Ares. Now he walks up and he's like talking heavy to Ares, like, yeah, this is gonna be your funeral, bitch. Like, I'm about to bury you, bitch. Stupid ass bitch. Like, he's talking. Why is he so small compared to everyone else? Why, why doesn't he get big? Like, Eric, bro, he's the size of a, he's like the size of four football fields, and Kronos is like the size of my testicle. Heavy to this nigga. Some Ooh, chick geez. walks up. She bad, though. I ain't gonna lie. She got this like see through dress on. Yo, a little, little Ooh, fatty geez. in the back, little wagon and all that, little see through thong and all that. Nah, I'm just claiming, but she walk up on this man Kratos and touch his face, right? Try to like see his vision yo he choked this bitch he's like stay out of my head bitch grabs her by the damn it tosses her bro this man kratos gets domestic throughout this entire franchise bro i'm not gonna lie that's where chris brown learned his shit from all right oh that was too far all right that was too far Hold on. anyways at this point they tell him that he has to get pandora's box that apparently has some power in it that can kill gods but later on we get to a point where aries and this man kratos are about to fight but they this man kratos runs. is in a vision right now aries is really on some like kind of entitled shit but I get it because he really gave this nigga Kratos his power. Ares was kind of talking to him. He's like, yo, how you going to suck my dick for me to give you powers? Well, I mean, I mean, you made him kill his wife. I mean, at, at the end of the day, it's his fault. But yeah, I, he's going to put the blame on you because clearly Kratos has no type of accountability whatsoever. He's just a dumb nigga. Give me the best blowjob of my life. Dick riding the shit out of me. And then you're going to try to betray me? Nigga, me? Bro, this is some vile shit. This man Ares took Kratos' power back in a vision and then smoked this nigga's wife with the same blades that he took back. I'm like, yo, this nigga Whoa. Ares is different. I ain't gonna lie, I should've made this video after him. Nah, I ain't gonna lie, he did get smoked. But anyways, in this next part, Athena helps this man Kratos out, gives him some power. He turns giant as shit and picks up this like gold oh, so sword get that's big. there, this gold sword, ends up smoking this nigga Ares with it. But it didn't even matter because he smokes Ares, right? Now, at this point, Ares is done. He's out of the yeah. franchise, he's done, finito, finito. But he did all that for zilch for zero because they didn't take his visions away. Yo, yo, Kratos just said walking L. That's what happens when all you do is listen to other people to solve your problems. That's what happens. He, I mean, at, 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 at I, no, I, I literally the beginning of every all the, this stuff happening, he relied on other people, and he only he just listened to them and expect expect them to be telling the truth. Kratos is an idiot. Capital I. Athena was like, bitch, we said that we was going to forgive you, but we never said we was going to take the visions away. No man should be without visions of terrible atrocities that they've done. Damn. Now, at this point, my spotty sense is kicked in. And I'm like, my mama always told me not to trust these bitches, bro. He should have not trust these bitches. So at this point, this man Kratos was like, look, man, if I got to live with these visions, I'm going to just off myself. And he literally tried to smoke himself. But that didn't turn out well. This nigga still was alive after that. Now, he doesn't even know. He can't even. Bit, bro, the next Yo, time so you're so. Bro, Kratos can't even kill himself right. So no matter what Kratos does, he's an L. Has he ever took a dub? When this nigga Zeus pulls up on his mom, right? So his mom is in here basically on her deathbed. She's telling him like, you gotta get your brother Deimos back, Kratos. And then I'm like, okay, okay. I ain't gonna lie. First thing I thought was she might low key a milk. Like, nah, I'm just playing. But anyways, I'm like, okay, we gotta get Deimos back. But his mom is like, I gotta tell you who your father is. And I'm like, oh shit, we about to find out about this nigga Kratos' dad. But she's like, I know if I tell you who your dad is, what's gonna happen to me? And I'm like, what's oh gonna my happen? God. Are you not gonna be able to collect child support anymore? Like, what, what's going on? So she whispers in his ear and tells him, you know, that your dad is Zeus. And then she turns into a monster. Now I know. I mean, she was gonna die regardless, so it don't even matter. But Zeus. Zeus is this man's dad and he's this week lame ass you're probably thinking like oh my god bro he already had to kill his wife and daughter no way that he'll have to kill his own mom <sighs> But you'd be wrong because this nigga has to smoke the monster and indirectly because his mom is the monster, he smokes his own mom. This nigga Kratos is a fucking demon. What are they going to stain his skin with now after he killed his mom? What are they going to like stain it with the period blood of his <laughs> oh, I've been wilding out this. That's a good idea, Loki. Like, the fuck? Staying like his face with his mom's period blood. Bro, what are you talking about, man? That would be crazy. <laughs> that would be crazy. Yo, I'm not gonna lie. But anyway, that, that's besides the point. So he pulls up on Deimos after this, and Deimos is clearly mad because he feels like Kratos has betrayed him. He's like, you've left me here all this time. They start scrapping. His brother is mad as a bitch. But y'all might remember before, like in the past, he smoked the Furies. Well, yeah. the God of Death, who was the father of the Furies, uh, 
again confused anyways but this harpy ass nigga looking like he came with harpy's feather duster from Yu-Gi-Oh. i ain't gonna lie this man pulled up and stole damos in the middle of the wait 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 wait, wait. How you so did he just like not pay attention to him the being behind him or he just didn't care so you're telling me he did not hear this big ass man's footsteps walking up behind him yo why is kratos family full of idiots or did kratos and his brother are the only idiots in the family like i, I just there's no there's no positive thing in there in these brothers right now it's just a bunch of negatory and idiocy like bruh up and stole Deimos and he picked him up fight. like a How baby you somebody and then you steal the nigga brother in the middle of the fight this is the second time this nigga Deimos got stole god damn but anyways this man kratos is down bad at this point but he's like yo i gotta save my brother i gotta make up for lost time so he jumps down into this pit now Deimos is fighting the god of death kratos jumps in the fight and helps him out at this point you know what's about to happen next bro what's about to happen the made up his brother Deimos yeah like spartan never falls on his back right brother he's like right so he's like the fight isn't over the they, fuck does he have like an off-brand sharing gun what's going like on with his ear fall. what is that he has a marble in his ear what can he can he see thoughts there gotta be some type of explanation on this like i know they didn't just copy and paste naruto with his eyes and give him the same ability and just made a different color on his back right brother he's like right so he's like the fight isn't over they pull up on this nigga and you know what's about to go down nigga you know if you made up with your brother and it's just you him and another nigga <laughs> Fight back, nigga. Fight back, yo. They start jumping the shit out of this nigga. So oh my god. So they are. See, I told you they stole directly from Naruto with that. They gave him the eye. They're jumping him, like bro. And then Tokyo Revengers stole from Naruto. The whole plot of Naruto is you jump niggas. Tokyo Revengers. The whole part plot of Nar uh, Tokyo Revengers is jumping niggas. Join a gang and jump. The god of death turns into his true form at this point and he grabs this nigga Deimos, right? Now, the first time Kratos jumped and pushed this nigga Deimos out the way so he could get smoked. Oh my god. But you know, Kratos built different. He ate that. But then he grabs Deimos and smacks him on the side of a cliff. Boom! And he slams him down. Boom! And then you just see a lifeless body, bro. As like, scenes about this, you know, because you know the gods are like extremely strong. Like, like obviously they're like uh, power scaling too strong they're slamming like these characters against mountains and the land and they're only putting a tiny dent in there how strong are these structures around them like what type of what type of rocks is y'all mountains made out of what type of high quality material y'all have surrounding yourselves like corn husk demos just lays there literally looking like a toothpaste tube that just had the last of its nutrients drained from it <laughs> this nigga just laying there lifeless now this nigga kratos is mad as hell starts raging out at this point and he uh -huh. smokes the god of death bro he killed death how do you death death bro that shit don't even make sense <laughs> it bro, don't how do you kill the nigga that kills niggas oh my god now after this though athena pulls up and is like you're ready to be a god and touches this nigga and turns him into a god so he goes to olymp wait didn't athena lie to him saying that you would be able to get you get rid of the visions like didn't that happen so why did he kill athena he always bro if you don't just kill everyone yo the next time we see this man kratos he at olympus sitting on a throne with a bunch of bad bitches around him i'm in one big room full of bad bitches one big bro, bro this is bitch one bitch two bitch three you feel me they just there now we're gonna talk about bitches later because yo in a little bit we're gonna talk about this mini game that i know y'all are waiting on me to mention you feel what? me oh no. we're gonna talk about i don't know what it, you're talking trust about me, believe me if you're at this point and you haven't heard me talk about it you know i'm gonna talk about it relax so anyways yo he, he's talking heavy to athena though because basically what kratos has been doing to make up for lost time is he's been you know periodically helping sparta out punish yeah. everybody around him he's like okay. oh, yeah i don't have no family anymore so i'm gonna just help out my people you feel me give it back to the community you know like he a real nigga now athena hating you feel me <laughs> really also player hating shit she's talking about no kratos that's enough he's like out of my way bitch like he pushed kind of ugly bro you can't you can't do better wow. like i get i guess she helped you a little bit or uh, she told you you could be a god and whatnot but but look at her bro <laughs> You are a god. Like, why is that? Why is that what's in your in your building? You're a god. Talking heavy. So Athena's talking heavy back though. She's like, okay, if you're not gonna listen to me, I'm the one that gave you the power of a god. Remember that. So he's like, whatever. He jumped down. He go to help Sparta. Same situation where Ares was before. You remember Ares was all big and shit. Now yeah. Kratos is the god of war. Punching nigga. Boom. Boom. So Athena comes down and creates this giant out of this like statue to fight Kratos. Kratos okay. Like, you would defy me, Athena. So him and this big ass thing is fighting. Zeus pulls up though he's like the only way that you can defeat athena at this point is if you put all the powers of a god into the blade of olympus the blade that i used against the titans and i'm like mm, i don't know i don't, I don't 
and then Kratos, yeah, I don't know. He been every single time Kratos has been told to do something, he's been lied to. Besides getting turned into a god by Athena, like every other time, he's been lied to, manipulated, or he's just been an idiot. He's been an idiot 90% of the time. Dang, he's like, nigga, why are you trying to be my pappy now, bro? Don't try to be my dad now. This man Zeus is one of those niggas that wait till their son is like 40 and they try to be in their life. Like, nigga, I don't care. Don't come try to talk to me now when your blood pressure's high and your fucking liver's failing on you and like you're about to die in the next five years. I don't give a boy. Just don't be a piece of shit. Don't try to be my dad. Exactly. This nigga Zeus talking about, let me help you out. So I knew it was some bullshit. So Kratos goes and put all the power of the god that he has into this blade. Yeah. Now, as he's fighting and defeating his big ass statue, Zeus comes down and picks the blade up. You know, Did he really turn his back from his enemy fallen, bro? Why is Kratos so dumb? It piss this is pissing me off. It's pitting pissing me off that a man has all this power and he's so slow. Trick this nigga. That nigga Zeus is not the pappy. If that nigga Zeus went on Mori, bro, he'd have been like, in the case of. And everyone knew that was a trick, and you you list you really took you really trusted your dad, who wasn't in your li in your life your whole entire life, like. Kratos deserves everything that happens to him. Honestly, he it it just is inevitable. He deserves. Eight year old Kratos, Zeus, you are not the father. Like literally, that's literally what happened. This man starts scrapping Zeus at this point, and I ain't gonna lie, he was getting punished because he's not a god no more. Literally, work. Beam, 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 beam. And after Zeus punished this nigga Kratos, he used the Olympus blade and he kills all of Sparta. Literally commits genocide and wipes out the entirety of this nigga's people. Like, bro, Damn. how did this get any worse? And then that nigga Zeus broke. Kratos is neck. Literally got this man laying there stinking. This man Hades came and grabbed him up. I'm like, oh, it's over for this nigga. So he goes to the underworld and that's where he meets Gaia. Now Gaia is like the Earth Titan, pretty much. <sighs> The Titans are not like on some Attack on Titan shit, by the way. They ain't Titan shifters and all that, but they like Titans. Like the people that were before the gods. Like, okay. that's a lot, bro. I ain't no fucking, fucking what, is, what is it called? Mythology class, nigga? You can Google that shit. But anyways, <laughs> the story goes like this. This bitch ass nigga Kronos seen this prophecy where his kids were going to overthrow him. Now, yeah. instead of trying to be a good dad and, you know, I don't know, beat the prophecy, he's like, I'm just going to eat my kids. So we had his bitch literally giving him what? his kids to eat. So what does his bitch do? She what? Takes Zeus gets an eagle to fly him to an island where Gaia is, where Gaia raises him, and then what? What is this? I'm I'm she so gives just a brick. lost. Now, this is what made me mad about this part, cause it's like, how did you think that a fucking brick was a baby boy? Why are you eating a brick? Quarter brick, half a brick, whole brick. Hey, like gave him a brick wrapped up in a blanket, and you ate it thinking it was Zeus. <sighs> niggas god so anyway zeus grows up and he wants to smoke all the fucking oh whoa 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 zeus <laughs> zeus so anyway, zeus god oh. smoke Zeus came out looking like a bad bitch. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Oh my goodness. Titans because he's mad about what his dad but he did. Look, he look old as fuck in the face. And he though. wants to like basically run the humans. Now after this, oh, this man the is in the underworld trying to get out and he ends up seeing this nigga Atlas. And he's about to get smoked by this big ass nigga Atlas. This man Atlas got fucking Shaquille O'Neal hands about to squish Kratos. But Kratos is like, stop Atlas. I want to stop Zeus. And then Atlas tells us the rest of the story. So basically, the gods were smoking the Titans. Like, they were yeah. smoking on that Titan pack, that Zaza pack, that, you feel me? <laughs> the Titan pack was hitting. This man Zeus created the Blade of Olympus during this fight, and he used it to smoke the Titans. We're going to call that shit the Titan Smoker for the rest of the story, bro. It's not the Blade of Olympus no more. That is the Titan Smoker. The Titan Inhaler, nigga. That nigga, oh my God, he rolled the Titans up in a pack. Literally every one of them niggas. One, it took one slash type? So anyways, after this, really? He has to go to the Sisters of Fate to change his- Yo, those Titans aren't shit then. They can smoke that easily. They deserve to die. Like, R.I.P. No, don't rest in peace. You deserve to die getting smoked that easily. Because the nigga is smoked in this timeline, so he's got to change what happened. He be wilding on everyone, bro. He yo, he walks up to the sister of fate. He's like, move out of my way, bitch. Bro, she got a titty Ooh. out and all that. I ain't gonna lie. Some of these bitches be bad for Wait, her. hold up. Wait, what? Like, it's just- He's like, move out of my way, bitch. Bro, she got a titty. Fashion is soap, bro. I promise you. Some some niggas just wanted to wanted to draw a titty so badly. That's all it was. Like this this fit has no meaning, but they just want they just wanted to see some breasts. That's the only reason. They wanted to animate some breasts. Titty out and all that. I ain't gonna lie. Some of these bitches be bad for real. They be having me on a full chub. Like I ain't gonna lie. But anyways, this nigga starts to fight in this mouth. Baba boy. Fate, right? One of the fate sisters. She's like, You can't change your fate, Kratos. I control your fate. So she takes him to where him and Ares was in, you feel me, fighting on that big ass sword. And this nigga smoked fate. He killed fate. Like, oh my god. How do you kill fate, bro? If your fate is 
needed to die. How do you smoke the thing that fades so, like, to die? So, like, I'm so <laughs> confused about Zeus's position because you have all these people, like, the god of death dying to Kratos. But Zeus... Like, what the- who is Zeus? Who the hell is Zeus? Like, what does Zeus stand for? The god of lightning? Like, I don't- I don't He smoked fate. Know. Then he goes upstairs in the same room, and the other fate sisters <clears> there. <throat> this big birth the bitch. This looking like the trailer park trash version of the fate sisters. Looking like the big bitch from Borderlands 2. <laughs> Big bitch had her titties out and all that. He ends up impaling her chest, giving her a boob job. Why, like, why is everyone just hanging with their breasts out? What, what type of fashion statement was going on here in uh 1900,000 BC? This nigga really smoked fate. <clears throat> I ain't gonna lie, bro. This nigga's different. So at this point, he had to redo what Zeus happened Zeus is before. the god of gods? Okay, that makes sense. Okay. Now, now it all, now it all makes sense. Okay. A nigga like me pissing on Zeus. Is this nigga serious? So he ends up fighting Zeus again, but he tricks this nigga Zeus because he starts losing. He's like, yo, Zeus, I laid out my arms to you. I can't, you feel me? Can't, I can't do this, nigga. I give it up. And he's like, put me out of my misery. And Zeus is like, I'm going to put you out of your misery. But your torment has just started. He goes oh. to attack him. This man How do you fall for that? Boom, boom, boom. How do you fall for that? This nigga, bro. Oh, my really this nigga. Boom, oh my boom. God. Oh my God. Rock, rock, smack, smack. He used the so, Zeus, so, uh, Zeus is just as dumb as his son. Blades and impales Zeus's arms, and he's about to kill him, bro, with the blade. Athena shows up. She blocked the attack. He like, yo, move, Athena. Don't stop me. Yo, she getting away with her dumb ass, bro, and ends up getting impaled. He turned Athena. I was waiting for that. I was waiting for that. I'm sorry. The Titan smoke. I was waiting for that. Yes. So Athena's yes. like spirit the whole rest of the story at this point. And I am like, oh my god, bro. But anyways, after he kills Athena, he uses the fate bitches to change the fate of the past with the Titans. He's like, look, let's go back to my time, and we gonna smoke these niggas on Olympus together. And that is what begins God of War three. This nigga is. Instead of the Titans getting smoked, takes them so he went his back time. in time. He's literally climbing Olympus. Wait, so wait, 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 wait. So wait. So he went to the past, then took those Titans that were about to get murked and went to the future. Okay, is that what happened? Olympus on the back of Titans. The first nigga that this nigga has to fight though in God of War 3 is this nigga Poseidon. Bro, he fights the god of the sea. There's a whole mini game where Aquaman? you're literally beating the shit out of him and you break his neck. Bro, you're mixing the gods, bro. This nigga kills like every god on Olympus, bro, in this game. Like it's literally crazy. That's why I call this nigga the fader of gods, bro. Cause he fades them niggas, bro. Literally like smokes them. It don't matter who you are. So he's working Poseidon. Boom, boom, weave, weave, boom, boom. Broke his neck after this every time he defeats a god by the way the world goes crazy like the sea well, yeah. is literally imploding on itself waves crashing everywhere smacking up so and so like he just he just killed like his whole his whole life is just killing people that that's that's it that's his character trait murder bro i ain't gonna lie I look like sea <laughs> world out this bitch bro i'm gonna keep it all the way clean like i was looking for free willy like it, it was wild so he ends up getting the blades of exile from athena after this and then he goes to the underworld to find and fight hades so he ends up fighting this nigga hades in the underworld yo he is smoking this nigga right but this the crazy yo, we're on a hades pack too but this the crazy part he uh -huh. takes this nigga hades weapons and then he uses his own weapons to steal hades soul out of him literally stole this nigga hades soul at this point all the evil spirits here are flying everywhere everything okay. is going crazy he's destroying the earth as he smokes these niggas he smoked this nasty pig god ass nigga they'll punish them so there's punish no way earth is still around with all this damage that's getting caused to like there has to be other planets right there can't just be one planet that wouldn't make sense because i feel like this is just too much for one planet to handle it does not make any I mean, sense he did this in this game bro this nigga is different bro Way clean. Anyways, after this, he pulls up on Hephaestus, this ugly ass nigga, bro. I don't be roasting a lot of characters because I know y'all be getting tired of me roasting everybody as much as I do, but bro, Hephaestus, please bring your ass here, bro. Because there's no way I'm not talking about your droopy face ass, pudding face ass, bro. Why your lip hanging like that? Uh, skateboard ramp lip looking yeah, ass nigga. And then that you got dirty. one blind eye and then one eye that looking off to the right. Hottest seat champion, 360, no scope, eyes looking ass nigga. Like, bro, your field of vision with that one eye is crazy, bro. Cyborg eye looking ass. Nigga. And then you got super scoliosis. You in this nasty ass corridor your whole life, nigga. Bent over and got a nasty. Now that's kind of hurting my back. Bringing up scoliosis hurts my back, bro. It's like when someone says, "Oh, there's a I saw a spider." Then all of a sudden you always feel like you have a spider on you. Like when it comes like stuff like that, like or you see someone like an injury happy to happen to someone, and you just like, oh, you're like, oh shit. 
shit. I feel that. That's hunchback, boy. Look like you got a turtle shell on your back, nigga. Bowser back looking ass. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, bro. This nigga is literally nasty. His nose like, is crooked like as hell. Smeagol looking at nigga. Fuck wrong with this nigga, man. Anyways, anyways, ugly ass Hephaestus is down here. He's like, yo, was Hades dead? Crazy. But anyways, Gaia is in the way of you getting past to get to the next situation ship that you got to get to, right? So I'm like, okay, just jump. Then, then they help Gaia. Over her arm. This nigga Kratos is like, vengeance is mine. And he kills Gaia just so we can get by. Or so we thought. But anyways, he literally was trying to kill her just to get by, bro. This what? Nigga, bro. Anyways, this nigga. Uh, but didn't, didn't he go? Didn't he want to help? I'm so confused. This is so confusing. Percy's this big ass nasty titan. He ugly as shit, by the way. Kronos is mad ugly too, but Percy's is an ugly nigga, bro. He grabs Helios and he like throws and slams him into a wall. So you walk up on Helios, who was like the god of the sun and shit. This man is down there, down bad. It looks like that one scene where Deku was just in the crater, destroyed after that one like exam part. Remember he in the tracksuit with his body all mangled? <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, this man, Helios' legs looking like spaghetti noodles right now. You walk up to this nigga and you literally rip him his head off to use it as a lantern bro he rips his wait <laughs> rips his head off bro like he was trying to rip a baby like <laughs> it's like he solves every single one of his problems with killing somebody <laughs> like it's like it's like he doesn't think there's any other solution besides killing somebody go get a torch absolutely not i'm gonna kill i'm gonna, I'm gonna take a god's head and use his head as a lantern what? Nigga, it's different. After this, yo, we pull up on Hermes, yo. We literally walk up to this nigga and we like, hey, bro, them shoes on your feet, nice, bro. What size is them? I ain't gonna lie, them shits were like my size because this nigga Kratos literally cuts this nigga's legs off. Bro, this bro, nigga what? Kratos is not playing with this nigga. Wait, bro, why did he do that? stole his feet. How you still a nigga's feet? <sighs> bro, this nigga is just smoking niggas at this point. But then in this next part, we got this fucking drunk ass bitch Hera, bro. Oh my and this gosh, big ass nigga Hercules, he coming out on some envious shit talking about you were always the zeus's favorite they had me go get an apple while they made you a god nigga do i look like i get groceries they turn me to a doordash driver this nigga out here getting produce for the gods and shit you, you becoming the god of war so this nigga mad but he got these big ass kystuses on these big ass gloves he's he got bakugo hands what, what what is this this is where Bakugo got his uh, uh his suit from. Interesting. I like that. I like it. Lion okay. gloves, yo. This shit kind of cool. Yo. When you end up punching this, this nigga, really you cool. rock him, right? You mixing his ribs. Boom. Stab him in the shit. Start grinding this shit up. Pause. One of the gloves fall off. Yo, you pick the glove up, put it on your hand. You punch the nigga so hard, he flies out of the other glove. Then you pick that one on, and then he what? start punishing this nigga. So bro, Hercules that weak? Hercules that weak? This nigga. Bang, 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 I'm starting bang, to think that Kratos is just invincible. Like honestly, it's, it's looking, it's, it's giving omnipotent, it's giving omni something where he's just above everything because there's nothing you touching him. That nigga's face into a demigod smoothie. Punch this nigga down into the ground and shit. Oh my god, yo, this nigga is different. I ain't gonna lie, after that, yo, I use them gloves for mad long because you can like use the weapons you got. I use them shits forever, right? <laughs> Come on, we clean with you. Anyways, after this, we spin the block on Hephaestus and we basically tell this nigga like, yo, we about to go to Pandora. We like, we about to go smoke your daughter. <laughs> we on that Whoa, pack, what? That daughter pack, that Pandora pack. His that daughter? <laughs> what? Pandora pack. <laughs> Different nigga. But Hephaestus is like, bro, leave my daughter out of this. Look, look, I'm gonna make you this strong ass weapon. Just go to Tartarus and get this stone for me. So we end up going to Tartarus and this nigga Hephaestus tried to trick us. Cause there is a stone here, but guess who else is here? This nasty nigga Kronos. Who this man Zeus made carry a mountain on his back through a desert. Got the worst skin I've ever seen. So you're just gonna you're gonna try to trick the person who just kills everyone for fun. That's that's his only purpose in life. Like when we see all these other characters, like like the Titans, for example, they have a purpose. Like one of the Titans were holding up the earth. This Titan carrying a mountain because you know he's getting bitched by Zeus but at least he has a purpose Kratos has no purpose in life None. Ever seen this nigga Kronos looks like Kevin Durant, bro. Somebody put some lotion on this nigga. So we end up fighting this nigga Kronos and he eats us, bro. Literally eats Kratos. Kratos falls into this nigga's intestines and you just see this nigga Kronos going, ugh, ugh, grabbing his stomach. Then you see the blade of Olympus, the <laughs> Titan smoker sticking through this nigga's stomach. He's, <laughs> he's ripping through this nigga's intestines. The intestines come out look like he got some gummy worms. Like, <laughs> Yo, he got the gummy worms sticking out. Why did they not chew when they eat? No one just, like, there's not a single food in the world that you just swallow. The only thing you just swallow are pills and nut. Like, even if you picked up an ant and ate it, you're not just gonna swallow the ant. I mean, at least most people, I, don't, I know, they're not gonna just chew that. I mean, it's not just gonna swallow the ant. They're gonna chew it, 
up a little bit. So yeah, like a pinata. Bro, he cut through this nigga's stomach after being eaten, bro. Oh my god, bro. This nigga is different. I ain't gonna lie. At that point, we stabbed this nigga Kronos dead in his forehead and we're smoking on that. <sighs> Kronos pack. Nigga, that Kronos pack is hitting. Everybody in the pack in this video, nigga. Anyways, so we find out Hephaestus tried to betray us, literally tried to get us killed by yeah. Kronos. So we smoke this nigga, end up shocking him, and then we use this big ass thing in the middle of the room to impale Oh my god. Stomach. I'm like, oh my god. I mean, it's only right that he, he got- copy me, bro. Stop copying me. Get your own I words. Smoke, bro. His life is literally terrible. He's in this small ass corridor, just making Aphrodite's out of clay and shit, trying to make his wife. Like, this nigga is down bad. So then we run into drunk ass Hera again, bro. Oh, this, this not her. An AA meeting, bro. And she's dirty she need as a hell. bath. Yo, go wash your clothes. Exactly, like, bro. Teeth that white with your body nasty like that. Like, bitch, you look disgusting. Like, you just been playing in mud all day. Like, what you getting a fight with a little kid, but it was a mud fight? Like, what is going on? Like, this bitch is like she just clean horses off. <laughs> I don't know, man, but Hera nasty as shit. She looks like, disgusting, crazy, bro. But we're about to walk away, and then Hera goes, nigga, you're a bad dad. Like, I ain't gonna lie. Like, she really said some shit about, like, him being a dad and shit. But she I mean, I mean, he's, she's spitting. She's spitting. She really was calling this nigga a deadbeat. I'm gonna come all the way clean. And then I was like, damn, nigga, like, I mean, you kind of spitting. No, that nigga is a terrible father. Yeah, 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 I was about to say, Kratos is a horrible, he's not even a terrible father. He's just a terrible person in general. There's like no positive attributes to this man. There's not a single one. I haven't heard a single positive thing about Kratos. He kills. What else does he do? <laughs> But this nigga Kratos was not trying to hear that shit because he grabbed her by her throat and broke her neck. Literally grabbed it and you just hear Like, he's he's one of those niggas that, like, that you tell them the truth to. You try to give them constructive criticism and then they try to go off on your ass saying, Oh, you don't support me. You don't have my back. Like, Kratos, you a bitch. Right? Like, grandma ones. Like, <laughs> see me on the street, Kratos. I know why you haven't pulled up because you a bitch. He just breaks her neck and leaves her there. Damn, bitch, if you had washed your dress. Like, anyways, see, after he punishes this bitch, we run into Pandora, and Pandora trying to throw some coochie at us. You're talking about, well, I'm an adult. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. Like, let me chill out, because Kratos started seeing, like, her as the daughter and all that. So, you feel me? Like, let me stop wilding, you feel me? But I'm just saying, she's trying to give us some of that Pandora's box. Get it? You feel me? Some of that box. Yeah, lie, just like, keep it moving, my boy. My just God. keep it moving. Corny? All right, yep. corny. Anyway, yep. so he got mad attached to Pandora, like I said. So, Zeus takes advantage of this and shows up and grabs her. This man, Kratos, like, put her down. And Zeus is like, all right, bet, and throws this bitch. I thought this bitch was about to fall into a pit of nothingness, but she ends up landing. I thought I did think he was about to tear her in in half and then throw her, but so I guess Zeus is a good guy. Rock. At this point, though, you get the boxing Zeus on his sword. Y'all are really mixing. Like on some like prime Mike Tyson versus blah, blah, blah. I don't even know Muhammad Ali. I don't know, nigga. Y'all boxing up. Hmm, hmm, weave, weave. Bam, you start mixing his guts up though. Pause. That was crazy. But anyways, you be, 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 be. <laughs> mixing his guts up, okay? <laughs> okay, I see the type of time and since I this nigga, bro. Got this man casually boxing the best god in the world, nigga. This man Kratos is built different. So we ends up getting into the situation after this where he has to sacrifice Pandora to basically get what's in this box to have the power to defeat gods. Okay. Now Zeus ain't having that. Zeus is like, oh uh, man, <laughs> you're about to fail her just like you failed your daughter. Kratos. Oh my like, god. Fucking heavy. Kratos is tight. Oh though, my god. Pandora into the thing to get Pandora's box. And then he grabs Zeus. Starts punching the shit out of this nigga. Then he goes to the box and he opens it. <sighs> and it was empty. There was nothing in there. I was like, bro, what the fuck going on? This man's just like, no, that's hilarious. another failure. I love that. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. That's very much deserved and extremely hilarious. <laughs> just like before. Just like when you failed your daughter. <laughs> he starts talking crazy. So at this point, he's mad as hell and just starts fighting this nigga Zeus. Now, him and Zeus are fighting at the top of Olympus, right? Now, y'all remember when Gaia died? Like, when we cut her arm and she fell and shit? Bro, Gaia is not dead. So Gaia's tight as hell. Gaia comes back. She grabs Mount Olympus like, I'm gonna kill both of you. Both of you should be dead. First yeah, thing facts. I'm thinking is, Gaia, you got a big wagon on you. Like, what we talking about but anyways guy you gotta take her old ass somewhere bro like bitch. you like fucking the soil you like you love being one with nature let's just die like don't you got alzheimer's or something like god damn like like bitch you the reason this nigga doing this anyway you told us that you raised this nigga like bro who raised these niggas gaia gaia did like bro what the fuck bro why you raise a nigga that was gonna take over humanity and make you feel me the humans not being peace stupid bitch i hate niggas bro it's always bitches for i'm just saying but anyways it is what it is what the so at hell this point, gaia's about to try to kill these niggas but they jump into her arm and they end up going into where her heart is at now they're scrapping in her aorta chamber where her heart is literally punishing each other while she's having a heart attack 
I'm not, I'm really not, I'm, I'm, like, when I think of Kratos, I'm trying to think of someone who only does, like, a character that only does what they do for power, and they have nothing else to them. I can't, is there any character like that? I'm trying to think of a character to compare Kratos to, and I can't think of a single person. He ends up impaling through Zeus and killing Gaia in the process. Now I'm thinking, oh, this nigga Zeus is dead. <sighs> And I was right, but this nigga's spirit wasn't. This nigga's spirit comes out of Zeus. Like the body is there lifeless, but his spirit is here. This nigga is choking the shit out of this Kratos and ends up choking this nigga so much that Kratos goes into a vision. Bro, he choked this nigga into a dream. He ends up finding out that the power I that think was that in called, box I'm pretty sure getting choked into a dream is just called death. It sounds like he died to me. So he's like, oh, I have hope. I can... I could fight a god. And at this point, he starts mixing the blah, blah, blah. spirit. Nigga turn into the Ghostbusters. Starts punishing the spirit of Zeus. Smacking this nigga. Boom, boom, weave, spin attack. Boom, boom, He's doing him dirty, low key. Attack. Uppercut, bro, he beat this He murking the hell out of him. Nigga Zeus. And then he started beating the blah, blah, blah. out of Zeus, bro. There's this part right before you start beating Zeus up, you look at the swords in your hands. He throws the swords down. He's like, nah, nigga, I want the hands with this nigga. He walks up and you just start mixing this nigga, bro. Literally beating the shit out of this nigga Zeus until the screen turns red. I oh remember my I did God. this for like three minutes because I thought like, bro, if I stop doing this, am I going to have to restart this fight? Bro, I thought I was doing something wrong, but no. You literally beat this nigga bloody until the whole screen is full of blood. It looked like somebody just threw a bunch of tomatoes at you, bro. It looked like a fucking plum smoothie on the screen, bro. Like, literally. So after you drown this nigga in his own blood, this nigga Athena shows up and she's like, Kratos, Why is she still of here, bro? Like, why is Athena still here? Why is anyone still here? Why don't they just all die? I don't see, I don't see how they all coexist. Like, out of everything I've seen, it just seems impossible to coexist. Are there gods that actually like each other? Haven't seen a single one. What was in the box? This nigga Kratos was like, the box was empty. And Athena was like, no, in the box was hope. This nigga Kratos is like, so basically you want to become what your dad was. She said, in the box was hope. The empty box, but there was hope in it. I swear if that's how One Piece ends. I swear if that's what the One Piece is. It's hope. I mean, Oda did say it was a physical thing. So it's going to be a picture of the word hope. Nah, and this nigga tries to smoke himself. And it looks like he... It looks like it worked at first. But anyways, this nigga smokes himself and gives hope to humanity. And that is the way that... Aww, that's the only single good thing he's done. He's literally done nothing else good. The game ends, bro. We zoom out. You feel me? There's an end credit scene. And then we come back, though. And this nigga's trail of blood made it look like he crawled off the cliff. And we end up getting to God of War 4, but I'm like, how do we get from here to there? I really don't know. And it's neither near or there. It doesn't matter. However, the last thing that we have to talk about, and I know y'all been waiting, and I put it at the end of this because I don't want to get this video demonetized. But bro, every game except for Ascension had a uh -huh. mini game where you have sex with this nigga Kratos. No one's trying to see, like, whose midget self is this, bro? Who is this? What's his name? H H Hadula? Habula? Ain't no one trying to look at this shit, bro. And a bunch of bad bitches. Bro, there are sex mini games in this game. Are you really out here clapping? They really have this man pissing on the side of a screen. They really have this little boy pissing into the side of the screen, bro. Like, I'm not trying to look at this, bro. Bitches, bro. It reminded me of, like, some Saints Row shit. Remember a Saints Row where you could fuck some bitch and it was, like, a mini game or, like, you feel me, uh, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas where you could fuck a bitch in the car and it's a mini game. Bro, there's mini games where you're, hmm, 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 hmm. Nigga, the God of Raw, nigga. <laughs> not the God of War, the God of Raw. <laughs> no condom. Like, this nigga was going crazy. I ain't gonna lie, though, man. Uh, this nigga Kratos is literally a goat. Literally the fader of gods. Literally the God of Smoke. Whatever you want to call him, it's that nigga bro the pale avenger himself bro this nigga kratos is a Baba demon <sighs> also um, i hope you guys enjoyed this video a lot uh, make sure you subscribe nah, really wa watching this watching this made me realize that kratos is a bitch i'm not gonna lie to you kratos is kind of lame <laughs>